Hi, my name's Eleanor, and today I'm going to take you through assembling the DIY synth kit. The DIY synth kit is this one here. This is how you get your kit, and it's for ages 12 and over. So if we just have a look inside, it comes with colour-coded jumper wires, your IC chip, um, capacitors and your resistors, three potentiometers, speaker, battery clip, double-sided sticky tape, a breadboard, and then your two pieces of acrylic. So one there, and then another one for your battery later on. And also, you need some double-sided sticky tape to stick the acrylic on at the end. So, let's get making. So we're going to be following the manual instructions that you can find online, and also all the other resources that are available can be found on our website. So, quick tip about the breadboard. There's two lines here, a negative line, positive line, and then the same on the other side, negative line, positive line. So these are your power rails, and they run um, this way left to right. And then there's the perpendicular lines, which is where you can plug in um, the majority of your components. So the first one we're going to start with is joining up our power lines. So if we take our red wire, coloured red, like the positive on the board, so we know it's positive. And then the same, and the same with the negative. So the next bit is the IC chip. This is called the 566 timer. And um, it's called IC because it means integrated circuit. So it's pretty much a mini circuit that's made out of silicon. So we're going to put that in the middle of the board so we can place everything else around it. And the next thing we do is we want to connect certain pins on the IC chip to the positive rail. So the way we count the pins on the IC chip is from um, left to right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're going to connect pin four to the positive rail. So one, two, three, four to positive. Pin 10, seven, eight, nine, 10. So you can use any of these little pins here because they're connected. So that's pin 10, positive. And then also pin 14. So that's the last one here. So the next one we're going to plug in is pin 7 to the negative rail, so we're using a black jumper wire. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so that's this one here, like that. So the next thing you want to do is add your resistor, which is this component. So it has a brown, black, red and gold stripes on it, which means that it's a 7 kilo ohm resistor. So we just want to bend the legs 90 degrees, like that, and then stick it in from pins 1 to 6. So 1, 2, 6, like that. So the next thing you want to do is plug in your yellow jumper wires. So this is plug in 2 to 6, so like that. And then the same again, but from pins 5 to 8. So, so it goes over your IC chip, like that. And this little tiny jumper wire here, it's very tiny, but you'll find it in your kit. This is just to connect pins 13 and 12. Like that. So the next pitch you want to put in are your capacitors. So these are your ceramic ones, so you want to put one in in pin two, so one, two, into your negative. So you want both capacitors to attach to negative. And then pin 12 to negative. So we can count backwards as well, so 14, 13, 12. Just put that into your negative. The next two you want to add in are your potentiometers. So these ones have 470 Ka written on them. So um, these ones are for your, they're called linear potentiometers and they're for frequency and pitch controls. So before we plug these in, we need to plug in a few more jumper wires. 
So because we want the potentiometers at this end, we want to plug one into positive on each side so we can supply potentiometers with the electricity they need. So the middle of your potentiometer is called the wiper and that is the place where um, the change in the resistance takes place. So we want to connect that to the IC chip. So we do that through jumper wires again. So this can go from 13 to three on the board and then the same again, but from three to one. So now we can add the potentiometers in. So um, on this one, the left leg is connected to the power and the middle leg to the IC chip through that blue jumper wire. And the same for this way around. So the next component is your electrolytic or polarised capacitor. It's called this because it has one leg bigger than the other. So polarised is when the component has one negative leg, which is the short leg, and one positive leg, which is the longer leg. So we want to connect the long leg, which wants power, into pin 9 of the IC chip, so which is this one here. And then with the negative leg, as long as we plug it in a bit further away from the IC chip, then we can plug the next potentiometer in, like so. So the next capacitor is your 2.2K potentiometer. It has 2K2B written on it. So there's a difference between these um, potentiometers and this one. This is for your volume control, and it's called a logarithmic potentiometer. So we want to make sure that the left leg is in line vertically with the negative leg of the capacitor. So you just have to line it up. So second to last is your speaker. And this has two little wires here. So next bit we want to do is plug this into the board. So these two copper wires, one of them wants to go in to the middle of the potentiometer, the volume potentiometer, which is here. And one needs to go into the negative, which is there. And your last component is your battery clip. So this is for your electricity. So they're color coded again, black for negative, red for positive. So one in there, one in there. So for the final bit, we want to make our synth look like the lovely one on the box. So we can take out our maker tray and this can be the foundation of our synth. So the first thing you need to do on your board is disconnect the battery and speaker. Like so. And we need to plug them back in again later. So the next bit we want to do is put our speaker and battery through the acrylic. It's a nice piece here. So if we just feed the speaker wires the hole and then from underneath, feed them up through the hole cut here they should keep in place. And then the same thing with the battery. So the next bit we want to do is stick this acrylic onto our maker tray. So we just want to cut two lengths down this side. Just peel it all the way down like that. So after we've stuck the tape on, we want to put the little stand for the battery on inside the case. So if we just Place it down like that. I'm going to take my sticky part off here. And the next bit you want to do is re-plug in your speaker and battery. And then you can play to your heart's content. Yeah.